Mark of the Beast, Congress quietly pushing bill that would require all Americans to get this biometric device. Do you think this is a good idea? By Prissy Holly for VeteranAF.com. For years, the talk of microchipping Americans was only a topic discussed among the tinfoil hat conspiracy theorists up until recently when a big Wisconsin company decided to take the plunge into this new chilling technology. Astonishingly, quite a few Americans were all too eager to trade their privacy for convenience where employees can now swipe into their places of employment with a simple flick of the wrist. With this technology now being presented to the masses and technology experts warning that this will soon be a regular part of our society, quote, Congress is now pushing for a mandatory light version of this plan. That's just one chilling step closer to the government having full control of our bodies and our bank accounts. Pushing RFID chips on Americans at this point in time would no doubt create a huge pushback as most Americans are completely against getting such an intrusive device under their skin. Most religious folks would immediately reject such a device believing that RFID chips are the mark of the beast. That's uh, prophetically discussed in the last book of the Bible. But what if there was a way to gradually get people used to the idea? It appears as though that's exactly what's transpiring. As there is a sneaky bill in Congress right now that would make a biometric ID card required for all Americans. No one would be able to buy or sell without it, and everything a person owns and everything about their identity would be contained within this card. What's even more chilling is that there is currently zero media coverage of this bill, except the websites that mainstream media brands as conspiracy-based. But, alarmingly, this is happening right underneath our noses. The Free Thought Project reports earlier this month, Representative Rob Bob Goodlatte introduced H.R. 4760, Securing America's Future Act of 2018, a sweeping bill that entails everything from education and, uh, and the workforce to homeland security to the military. Also tucked away in this 400-page behemoth uh, of a bill are the uh, details of a new biometric national ID card that could soon be required for everyone. Not surprisingly, there is almost no media coverage of this legislation. H.R. 4760 establishes a mandatory national identification system that requires all Americans to carry a government-approved ID containing biometric features without this card. According to the legislation, you will not be able to work in this country. The legislation was drafted under the auspices of providing a legislative solution for the current beneficiaries of the Deferred Action for Childhood Arrivals, DACA program. However, as Ron Paul points out, this bill would give DACA recipients a three-year renewable legal status while forcing a biometric national ID card on virtually everyone else. That's right. The uh, statists want to control you, said Paul. Naturally, this bill is wholeheartedly supported by the anti-immigration sect and has gained 70 uh, 70 co-sponsors already in only a few days. As with most police states, promoting legislation, fear of illegal immigration is being pushed to garner such support. However, as Ron, Ron Paul points out, the bill won't just target illegals, it targets everyone, and it will use your most private information to track you. Under the Statist's uh, National ID Scheme, you'd be forced to carry around your National ID card. T- 
tied to this massive database, chock full of biometric identifiers like fingerprints and retina scans, Paul noted. Without this ID, you won't be able to legally hold a job or likely even open a bank account or even uh, board a plane. Paul said there is a very good chance this bill will become law as the support for it seems overwhelming. He laid out three key factors that are detrimental to the freedom of all Americans. One, allow federal bureaucrats to include biometric identification information on the card, potentially including finger, fingerprints, retinal scans, or scans of veins on the back of hands, which could easily be used as tracking devices. Two, be required for all U.S. workers, regardless of place of birth, making it illegal for anyone to hold a job in the United States who doesn't obtain an ID card. Three, require all employers to purchase an ID scanner to verify the ID cards with the govern uh, federal government. Every time any citizens, a citizen applies for a job, the government would know and you can bet it's only a matter of time until ID scans will be required to make even routine purchases as well. The control freaks in the U.S. government have been trying for years to pass, pass a national ID card law, and it has been successfully resisted every time. This time, however, it appears that the Republicans who used to be vocally opposed to such measures are now fully on board likely because of the bill's anti-immigration language, as Paul points out. For years now, statists excuse me, in both parties have been fighting to ram their radical national ID database scheme into law. In fact, this scheme was a key portion of the infamous failed comprehensive immigration reform bills, both parties tied to RAM through uh, during the Obama administration. Now using the momentum behind Trump's tough talk on immigration and border security, I'm afraid the statists believe that uh, the best way to finally enact their national ID schemes, scheme actually, is by promoting their bill on Capitol Hill as a DACA fix, quote while they sell it to the GOP base as a border, quote, security measure. Of course, that's nothing more than a buzzword meant to trick Americans from all over the country into thinking that Congress is going to seal our southern border. But in reality, it means something far different. The security, quote, members of both parties in the U.S. House uh, want uh, want doesn't target any U.S. border. Instead, it's meant to create an all-out police state within them. The truth is, this is exactly the type of battle that often decides whether a country remains free or continues sliding towards tyranny. Benjamin Franklin once said, those who would give up essential liberty to purchase a little temporary safety deserve neither liberty nor safety. That quote often comes up in the context of new technology and concerns about government surveillance, and no one could buy or sell anything without that mark, which was neither the name of the beast or the number representing his name. Revelation 13.17 what about your thoughts? Do you think this type of device is a good idea? Would you ever agree to have an implant underneath your skin? Let us know your thoughts. Uh, I think it's very disturbing to tell you the truth, and I don't agree with this. Uh, it's very intrusive. And we've been, you know, what are we, cattle? And that's how they have us, as cattle. I mean, this has got to end. I mean, um... And I had heard something back uh, a while back, and I'm not sure I never looked into it, where um, um, Trump's uh, son, something with the RFID chips, he was invent, uh, invested in some kind of company. 
Uh, I don't know if anybody of you guys know about that. Uh, I, I, don't, I don't agree with this whole thing uh, because the, this is what they want to do to us. You know, I feel sorry for the, ne the, uh, the, the young uh, babies being born into this uh, kind of a climate, you know, and they're, and they're twisting it. So in other words, uh, for safety, border safety and this, and, uh, and they're letting illegals because of the illegals, and this is why we have to get it done. It, it seems now, the way Ron Paul is talking about it here, it's like a scheme. Um, and I'm not on board with this. I, I, don't, I don't think you guys are either. Um, this, uh, this has not, we, we, we should not allow this to take place. I mean, I think that's going uh, too far. I don't know. It, it's going too far, too deep. So in other words, total control. And when they want to shut you, shut you off, they just shut you off. You know what I'm saying? That's uh, really disturbing information. I think the more we're going into this uh, high-tech uh, technology, I think it's going to be the, uh, the destruction of uh, humanity, I think. Basically, that's the bottom line. And it's a uh, very sad... Uh, a sad thought actually um, let me know what you guys think in the comments below and again thank you so much for watching